and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am filming the get to know me tag, so stick around if you want to get to know me a bit better. Um, I did actually ask on my Instagram stories, which is where I ask a lot of things about like what you guys want to see on my YouTube channel and like blog and anything. So if you aren't already, then make sure you go and follow me over there. Do lots of unboxings and stuff on my stories, so all like the blog mail first impressions on like makeup and stuff, like this new foundation I'm trying, I did a first impression on that, um, and just like also everyday outfits and things, so yeah, if you want some more from me then make sure you go follow me over there, and if you haven't already I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, do two videos a week, um, on a Thursday I do like a styling video, and then on a Sunday, like today, I do other videos like this, and hauls, and like what's in my bag videos, like what I did, what's in my Chanel bag, which I'll link here, um, so yeah, if there's anything you want to see, um, or you think you might like those, then I would love for you to subscribe and just let me know if there's anything you want to see. So, I've got 30 questions to answer for the Get To Know Me tag. I'm not really sure, like, if they're the right questions, but I just basically Googled Get To Know Me tag YouTube, and it came up with a bunch of questions, so those are the ones I'm going to be answering. When I was writing them down on my notebook, I did, like, think about them a little bit, but I haven't really thought about them properly, and if I'm honest, I found it really hard to answer, so this is probably going to take me ages to edit, because probably half of the video I'm going to be sat here like this. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get started. My middle name is Annabelle. The story behind it is that I was going to be called Annabelle. Um, my mum wanted to call me Sinead, and my nan was like, you can't call a child Sinead, that's evil. Um, thanks, nan. <laughs> and then she was like, okay, I'll call her Annabelle. And then, apparently, when I came out, I just looked like a Sinead. Don't know how a baby can look like a Sinead. But apparently I did, so Annabelle is my middle name, um, and it's really funny because my sister's middle name is Margaret, and so is my mum's, so I think I would have been a Margaret if not. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with Annabelle. My favourite colour is yellow, um, it's been yellow since I was younger, like, I have no recollection of this, but apparently I used to have an outfit of yellow leggings and a yellow t-shirt, and I used to wear them all the time, and apparently the yellow t-shirt was dirty, my mum had to wash it while I was asleep because... There was no way I was leaving the house and not wearing that yellow t-shirt every single day of my life. And yeah, it's just stuck with me. I think it's just such a pretty, happy, lovely colour. It reminds me of summer and warmth and I don't know. I just like it. I guess that means I'm a positive person. I hope that means that. My first best friend. I'm like not sure if I should say her name on here. I don't know. But her name is Rebecca. Um, and we literally did everything together. Like, you know how when you're older you go to the toilet together? We used to do that when we were, like, in reception. And just, like, we were literally joined at the hip. Um, we used to collect rubbers together. Like, honestly, I had, like, 100 rubbers in different shapes. <laughs> I used to collect rubbers. Um, I had, like, a big... And I used to go to the house and we used to swap rubbers. Um, and we were, like, best friends. And then I remember in, like, year three, this new girl came from another school. And she decided she was her best friend. And then she was like, I don't want to hang around with you anymore. I'm her best friend now. And I was literally devastated. And I'm pretty sure that through primary school, like, I never really had close friends after that. Like, I was a bit of a loner. Um, so Rebecca broke my heart. I am five foot seven slash eight, I would say. I don't actually, I haven't actually measured myself in a while. But whenever I go to like, you know, and you have to go and get it done, like other doctors, I'm pretty sure I'm like five, seven or eight. My boyfriend will always say that I'm five, five or six, but I'm definitely not, I'm seven or eight. Um, but he is like the same height as me, so he always like makes me feel like I'm shorter because he wants to be taller, but we're the same height. Can I say both? Like honestly, I've been a cat person my entire life. I've grown up with cats, loved cats so much, terrified of dogs. Like I've had so many experiences where I've hated dogs and now I have a dog. It's so crazy. Like I hated dogs and then my mum got a dog and I fell in love with her and she just opened up a space for dogs in my heart and now I have my own dog which is like if you told me this 10 years ago I would just laugh in your face because I hate a dog if I saw a dog walking down the street I'd cross the road like I would not stroke a dog I wouldn't even smile at a dog like I just hated them like now if I see a dog I can imagine their personality and I just smile and I think I just love dogs um, and I do like cats but I think I prefer dogs which is crazy now, but yeah, I do like cats, and they they make me laugh so much, because they're just like, no shit's given, like, they've got no, they're, they're just hilarious, but dogs, you can't beat a good dog cuddle. I actually cannot even think, like, what's okay? all I can think of is embar embarrassing moments, probably at college, like, I had the most fun at college, um, because I met my group of friends who are my group of friends now, and I think, they're like, they're the first group of friends that I've had 
in my whole life where I've been like, I don't know, just like I could never have friends compared to these friends. Um, and yeah, we just had so much fun. Like, I don't know if I tell you right now, <laughs> you'd just be like, that's crazy. But we just had things in our, like you wouldn't find it funny. Do you know what I mean? Like you had to be there. But we just used to do the craziest things and like just, play games of manhunt around college and like push each other down hills and molly chairs and slide down stairs on wet floor signs and just like whenever we had a free spare moment we just used to like do crazy fun stuff and just I don't know it doesn't sound crazy and fun now you're probably itching this like you're so lame but honestly like we just had so much fun and yeah college was definitely like the best years of my life I'm not sure. I'm gonna count them now. So, when I was younger, I went to Spain. Been to Spain a lot. Tenerife, Gran Canaria. No, Spain, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Lanzarote. Where else? America, Indonesia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka. Is that it? Where else have I been? Oh, France, Italy, oh, Cayman Islands, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, um, Swiss, no, not Switzerland, Sweden, um, I feel like that's it, I can't think of any others, haven't been to Germany, have I been to anywhere else, I think that's it. I did go to college, as I said, best years of my life, and I went to uni, twice, so I went to uni the first time to study photography, and I hated it, like, it was all digital photography, didn't, like, click with any of the people, just didn't really like it at all, to be honest, and I just found it, it was just, like, I don't know, like, I cried the entire time that I was there, and, like, not, like, actually bawling, but, like, I was on edge, and I cried a lot, and I just think, I've got a really strong gut instinct, and I just knew it wasn't right, so I quit after, like, two weeks, but I stayed there living the uni life until Christmas um, and then I moved home, got a job and saved up and paid my debts off and then went back to uni to do fashion retail management and I loved it. Well, I didn't love, love it. Like, I loved it. But you know when everyone's like, uni's the best, sorry, Penelope, like, I don't know if the place wants here or what. Um, but, like, I didn't, I didn't, like, love, love it. But I don't know everyone says uni's, like, the best stage of your life. But to me, it was definitely college. And, like, I did love uni, but I feel like it was a learning experience for me. So I guess talking about like high school, so my least favourite would have to be food. Oh my gosh, I hated that subject. I was so crap at it. My teacher was horrible. She was so horrible to me. I remember once I made a soup and I put the flour in. I forgot to put the flour in. So I just put the flour in at the end and like, if you're watching this and you know about cooking, then you're already like, big mistake. And they literally just like, they look like chicken breasts. And I remember coming round to like try everyone's food and mine was just like, oh, it was just a nightmare. And she shouted at me so much and literally I tried to quit and they wouldn't let me because I went to a girls school and they were like, we will not have someone studying and not getting 10 GCSEs or however many you get. Um, so it was really hard um, and I hated it. But yeah, I think once I'd like made a big deal about it, she was like not such a cow to me. Um, and what was my favourite subject? Probably art, like I loved art so much, I had so much fun in art, it was definitely my favourite subject. I got an A, it was the only subject that I got an A in GCSE and then I went down to a D in, um, what do you call it, in A-levels, because I went to college and I honestly do think that it's to do with the teachers and like at a girls school I think you're like spoon fed and then I went to college where I was like, and it was very different too, like a, a, a girls school is very like regimented and like at college it was more free thinking and like think about the space around it and stuff like that whereas like I don't know I just think it's a very different way of learning um, and so yeah I definitely flopped at college. So favourite drink I don't know if this means like ever but I would have to say wine. I love wine. I love drinking wine though. There's nothing better after a long day's work to have a glass of wine to relax. But I also love a cup of tea, like the first drink in the morning should always be a strong cup of tea and it's like the best feeling when you drink that cup of tea. But like general drink, ah, oh, banana milkshake from McDonald's. I think if I could only drink one thing then it would probably be that, or cups of tea, or wine. Can I have all three? So soft drink is milkshake, hot drink is tea and 
um, or chai latte. I do love chai latte. Or and then final drink is wine. Any colour. I'm not. I'm not first. Any colour wine. I definitely have to say curry here. I don't know what kind of curry because I love all kinds of curry. Probably, um, if I had to pick one, I'd say it's curry that my mum makes. She makes it in the microwave because she got <laughs> she's got this like amazing curry recipe that you make in the microwave. It's super quick and easy to make, and she got it from a recipe book that my uncle got her when like microwaves were the new cool thing. And it's honestly the best curry ever. It's got, like cashew nuts and raisins in it, and it's just like. Yeah, that is my favorite dinner. Favorite perfume is really hard because honestly, I get sent so many perfumes, which I'm so lucky about, but it could like change daily. So I find this really hard. I'm just looking at them there because they're on the side. I think my all time favorite that if I could only pick one that I would wear, I guess that's the answer, would have to be Giorgio Armani C. It's so nice, honestly, amazing. I kind of already answered this, tea. I have no idea. Probably, I don't know, how many thought about this? I'm not like the kind of girl that's like, I want this many children, I want to live in a detached house with four bedrooms and a white picket fence and I'm going to call my children this and if they're going to be this far apart, I'm going to have two boys and a girl. Just haven't really thought about things like that. But, I'd have to say at the top of my head, because I said this to my boyfriend the other day actually, I would call Calliope, a girl Calliope, and do you know why? Because I'm obsessed with Grey's Anatomy, and Callie is called Calliope, and I think it's a really nice name, like, it's so cute. So, the next one is about sports, and quite frankly, I hate sports. So, the only sport I like is walking, <laughs> walking my dog, if that was a sport. Um, sorry, I keep looking outside because it's snowing, and I keep looking at it, um, and I need to look at the camera. Um, so sports, what sports have I played? I used to love rounders actually, I really used to love rounders, but I've never played a sport, I've never been in the team, I've always been the person who like makes up fake sick notes to get out of sports, like I've always hated sport, I've never liked it, not good at it, not good at team things, I just, I don't like it. So my favourite book is probably The Secret, I don't like reading it, but I like what it stands for, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it's like definitely my favourite book, I talk about it all the time on here and it's like the power of positive thinking and it's just like the most amazing book, anyone should read it, but if you're going to ask me my favourite book to read, I would have to say maybe author is Sydney Sheldon um, and me and my boyfriend have the funniest joke because basically we went travelling together and whenever I found a Sydney, I read this Sydney Sheldon book and it was amazing and then I realised that it had a, like an add-on one and I found the add-on one at the next hostel we went to. And then whenever he found Sydney Sheldon books, I always read them. And whenever he sees them now, he always goes in charity shops and looks for them. So I don't know who my favourite YouTubers are. I, I subscribe to loads of people and I feel like it changes depending on my mood. And I normally like, if I like someone, I'll watch all their videos. And then afterwards, I like won't watch them for a few months. And then I'll go back and do the same. But it really depends what mood I'm in. So like, my all-time favourites I always watch are Casey Neistat and Philip DeFranco. Love both of them. Um, and I also really like watching Yanni and Jan Olsen and um, they're a couple of, in, one is on Instagram and one's a YouTuber but she's got Instagram too, um, YouTube too really like watching their videos just because I really like fun, upbeat, positive people so if I'm like in a bad mood or like I can't be bothered to do anything when I feel like watching their videos really like makes me like come on, gonna do something um, but I also really love watching fashion ones I love watching um, Claire Chanel even though she literally has a handbag problem but I'm okay with that and it's really fun to watch um, and I love watching Josie from Fashion Mumbler, I also know her and she's lovely, um, I love watching Amelia Liana, Kate Levy, oh my god I love watching Kate Levy's videos especially on Homes. So my favourite movie I have no idea, like movies that, oh I know, I know it, I do know it, okay I do go through phases but I would say at the moment, my all-time favourite movie is Sisters, and it's been like that for a couple of years. It's the funniest film. If you've watched it, comment below with, like, your funniest part, because, honestly, I'm going to watch it today, I think, because we've got... Oh, I'm going to go and watch it. Um, but, honestly, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It's the funniest thing. If you've got a sister as well, like, you'll die, because it's so funny that, like... They're, like, grown-up sisters, 
the, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing because I want you to watch it, but basically they're like grown up sisters and then for some reason they're thrown back together and they're just like, the way they are together is like they were when they were like 10 years old and that's exactly like what me and my sister are like too. I am engaged, as you probably know if you've already watched my videos, if you haven't then I'm engaged. <laughs> So, taken. Um, I did actually do a video on my like engagement story, kind of, because I got engaged to you on Christmas Day this year, so it's still quite new, like a couple of months old, and um, so if you want to see like about that, then I'll like link it up here. I don't know, like, I've seen, I've had like a few people in my life before, but I don't think that I've ever had someone that I would ever have called my boyfriend before Jack, um, or like ever had a discussion, or like no one I would ever change my Facebook status do and you know shit gets serious when you change your Facebook status to in a relationship or it's complicated um but yeah no I would say Jack's my first boyfriend I mean I had a guy that I was like seeing for literally like three years on and off through college um but I wouldn't have called him my boyfriend and then like anyone else I've seen I would have liked to have called my boyfriend but they were just absolute arseholes, so thank god they never were my boyfriends, because, yeah. So, I'd say Jack's my first boyfriend. I honestly feel like I've got so many memories from my childhood, but I just cannot even think of, like... Hello? Just coming in now. Okay, Mum? Yeah? I'm just filming my video now, and the question that I've got to answer is, what's my favourite childhood memory? Can you even think? I feel like it's. No, but I'm thinking. I feel like it's what? going to Auntie Pauline's and eating a massive marshmallow car. Obviously, it includes yeah, sweets. Yeah. <laughs> Spain, going to Spain, yeah. Going to Spain. Yeah. And going yeah. to get those. Have you seen all the icicles hanging off the houses, by the way? Have I what? Seen all those giant icicles hanging off the houses? Yeah. They're dangerous. But absolutely. I said to Jack, it's a perfect crime. If I was going to murder someone, I'd murder them with an icicle because a murder weapon melts. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm going to put my phone down now. Go and get the coffee. Okay, love you. Are you coming down or not? Yeah, I'll be two minutes. Let me just finish filming this. Okay. Okay, love you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay, so Mum has confirmed that that is my favourite memory, and it definitely is. My Aunt Pauline basically won the lottery. She's not actually my auntie, she's my godmother. Um, she won the lottery and bought a house in Porto Venus in Spain, and we used to go and visit her in the summer, and honestly, it was like the best house ever. And like, she bought us one year, I remember. It was like, it was like an ice, you know, like a cake board, and then it was like a car made out of marshmallows and sweets, and it was like this big, and I just remember like, all of my memories have food and sweets in, basically. So I don't speak any languages, and I really, really regret not studying languages better. So if you're watching this and you're still, like, at a point where you're at school and stuff, then you should definitely work harder to learn languages, because I know this seemed like such a ball ache when you're at school, but honestly, like, yeah, in the future you'll regret it, and I regret it. And I, basically, I had to study French at school, um, but we had the option of learning another language, and I really wanted to learn Spanish, but I found that they were so similar, like to me they were so similar, I found it really hard to learn both at the same time because I kept getting them confused. Even though I found Spanish way easier to learn, but I couldn't drop French and just do Spanish. So in the end I was like, I'll just do French and then I just, I got a D and I did really bad in it. And then later on I was like, I'm going to learn, I'm going to teach myself French. And I did really well at it, but then like I just didn't carry it on. And like, I don't know, it's hard to learn a language if you're not speaking it all the time. So I guess like when I was going to school it would have been easier. But then even that I've forgotten. I just think with speaking language you have to like constantly practice it to keep it up. Yes, I have three. I have three sisters. I have got one that is, I've got two in their 40s and one who is uh, 18 months older than me, Lauren. She's actually got YouTube, so I'll link her channel here or like below. Um, so you can go see her. But, yeah, my other older sisters are, they've got a different dad to me, so they've got, like, there's quite a big gap. Um, but, like, whenever I was born, they were there. So, like, I don't think, oh, I've got two half-sisters and a sister. I've got three sisters. I was born with three sisters, um, and I've always had three sisters. Honestly, I have no idea how to describe my fashion sense, because I feel like it's always changing. Like, I thought last year that I got to a point where I was like, I'm older now. 
I know what my style is like, but honestly, no, I, I don't have a clue. It changes all the time. Um, I'd say like really casual, laid back style. I say my style's casual and laid back. I used to only wear like a certain colours. I've got colour more into my wardrobe. I used to only wear jeans. Now I'm wearing trousers more and I'm happy about that. Like I like experimenting with my style. And who says that like once you get to a certain age, you have to have a style and put yourself into like a little box that says this is who I am. Like no, keep experimenting with style and changing as much as you want. And I like playing with and like wearing fun things. I don't care if I'm 28 in a couple of months. I'm still going to wear mini skirts and bright pink trainers and puffer jackets. I can wear whatever I want. Favourite restaurant, I, okay, so I'm going to tell you my favourites overall, which is two, but then also, I live in a small town where there's like barely any restaurants, my favourite town, a restaurant is actually a pub in my town, um, and it's called the Toby Norris, and they basically do a deal that's like a bottle of wine and two pizzas for £20, and they're the best pizzas in the world, they're like handmade pizzas that are literally so thin and crispy, and you can pick the toppings, and I always have Cajun chicken and artichoke, and it's honestly divine i'm gonna go there tonight now i think um and then also i my favorites are wagamama's katsu curry always and i really love going to the ivy like i know i sound really fancy well I probably don't probably just sound normal to you but to me that's fancy but um ever since i got into blogging like i have loads of pr meetings and prs just love to meet at the ivy and i am so okay with that because my favorite thing is a chicken milanese so i think we can like get from this from Katsu and chicken milanese. I like deep fried chicken. Um, so I have like chicken milanese with truffle and parmesan fries and they're honestly the best. My mouth is literally foaming. My favourite TV show at the moment is definitely Grey's Anatomy. I have watched 14 seasons of it since January. So that's two months. I have watched 14 seasons. I definitely need to be working harder. Um, and also I... But then before Grey's Anatomy, I also have had a few other, like, basically I love se like series that are really intense. Um, so I also love Breaking Bad and I also loved Homeland. And um, so if anyone else, if anyone has a recommendation, so I like Homeland, Grey's Anatomy and um, Breaking Bad. So if you have any recommendations of TV shows I can watch next, uh, let me know because I'm on season 14 of Grey's Anatomy and I probably will have finished it by the weekend. So I need tips all the way honestly I had a PC my whole life and then I got a Mac like three years ago and I just don't think I could go back to a PC that's so slow so my final question is my bad habits and honestly I have so many but I don't want to tell you them but I would say I bite my nails when I'm stressed but I feel like that is just like a cop out so I'm going to tell you a disgusting one but not too disgusting I pick my feet don't judge literally I just don't even realize I'm doing it half the time like you know like when you get dry skin on your feet and I just I know it's so gross but I just to think that this is like you'd get to know me so I have to, I have to be honest and give you a proper bad habit but honestly I do and I just can't help it I do it without even thinking like the other day I was sat at a fashion show fashion week picking my feet and I was like what am I doing I just realized what I was doing and I was like oh my god everyone can see picking my feet stop it um but yeah anyway Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you got to know me a bit more. If I've said anything weird that you can relate to, please comment and make me feel normal. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. Another bad habit is that I touch my hair loads. Um, and I will see you next time.